Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna make this really quick and short. I don't wanna drag this on too long. Um, I had a propane tank, a 250 gallon propane tank that come off my daughter, come from my daughter's house. I traded it out with a 500 gallon I had. <clears throat> and it's been sitting up at her house a couple years ago, for a couple years. And her boyfriend brought it down here and has been sitting in my field for a month and I had my son listed on a swap site and I got it sold for 350 this morning. So it went fast and then he had a three point blade he drug home years ago from scrap. He got from a friend, had a bunch of old iron at their farm and they let him have a whole bunch of iron. He brought it home, gave me the iron, which I sold years ago for scrap iron and made money off of it. And then that blade was sitting there, three point blade. So I told him, you list it for me and we'll split the money. And then I decided to be kind and give it to him because he's the one that actually brought it home years ago. I didn't have nothing in it. It wasn't mine to begin with, it's his. So he got the hundred bucks out of that. Um, we're gonna take that money, the 350 that I got from propane tank and put it with this week's, this past week's paycheck that I got from the elevator. And I'm gonna put it towards our house, but I have a receipt here showing how much our balance is now that my wife made last week's payment of $1,012.06, which was the week before his paycheck. But right now, there's our balance of $19,386.74. And there you can see $1,012.06 is what was paid towards it. So now this week she'll have the money from the propane tank and this week's paycheck, which would be 900 and something dollars that I'll be able to put towards it and knock it down that much more. My wife also received a bonus check and it was a pretty good sized chunk of money. So we're gonna take that bonus check and put towards it. So when you see this next time, it'll be down at least a couple thousand dollars from what it is now. Um, you guys could do the same. There's ways of making extra money. You might have unwanted items you could sell and put that towards the principal, your, your house payments and, and get it paid off much quicker, save you money on interest. But this is my journey that I'm doing and I'm going to keep giving updates as I get it paid, getting closer and closer to getting paid off. As I've said before, some of you might be new to my channel, but our goal is to have it paid off by my wife's birthday. She turns 50 and May 5th and by May 4th, we're going in and paying the balance off. We do have money in our savings, a good chunk of money to pay a good chunk of this, but we're trying to pay as much as we can now out of pocket. Meaning, you know, I'm selling scrap metal, selling items I don't have or that I don't need that I have, things like that, and try and get our debt reduced. That way, it's that much less later on we have to take out of our savings. Anyhow, I don't want to stretch this video out, but I want to do tell you a quick story. Um, there's an elderly guy that lives there in town in Rodney. It's a real small town and where the elevator's at um, that I work at. And we come in the other day and we were talking about various things, you know, how old guys get talking about certain topics. Well, he's talking about his wife driving because he can't drive no more. His eyesight's gotten bad and he wasn't able to pass the driving test due to his vision. So now his wife does the driving. Well, this gentleman's 80 years old. And he was talking about, he went to a Dollar General store just the other day with his wife. Well, they went grocery shopping, then they stopped at Dollar General to pick up a few things. And his wife asked him if he needed anything. And he said, yeah, I want a couple cigars. I'll just come in and get them, you know. So he went inside. He don't smoke these cigars. He chews on them. Uh, he used to chew and he used to smoke, but he gave both of them up. But now he'll buy a cigar and just put it in his mouth out of habit and chew on it. And so he went in to purchase a little pack of cigars, has two cigars in it. And he went up the counter and told the lady he needed two of them cigars. And so she grabs that one little pack of cigars, has two cigars in it and says, I need to see your ID. And he says, you need to see my ID for to buy two cigars? Well, yeah, I need to see your ID. So he didn't have a current Iowa ID. He had an Iowa driver's license, but it was, ex it was expired by three years. It expired in 2017. 
due to the fact that he couldn't get his license renewed because of his vision. So he handed her his ID. He says, well, here I have this ID. I have my driver's license. And she looks at it and she says, well, sir, do you know that this driver's license expired? And he says, yeah, I know it's expired. It expired back in 2017. He says, I couldn't pass the driving test. I, I couldn't pass the vision test to renew my license. That's why it's ex it's expired. He said, that's why I have my chauffeur with me. He had his wife standing there. He says, she's my chauffeur. She drives me around now because I couldn't get a current license because of my eyesight. And the lady says, hands him back his ID. And she says, well, I'll be able to sell you. Uh, she says, I will sell you these cigars this time. But next time you come in, I can't sell them to you unless you have a current Iowa ID. You're gonna, you need to go get an Iowa ID. The whole purpose of an ID or carding somebody is to make sure they're of age. This woman obviously has no common sense to be able to look at an 80 year old man and realize that he's at least of age to buy cigarettes or cigars. Where has common sense gone? Has it gone out the window? Are people really that stupid? I just don't understand. It's crazy. You think it's a crazy world with all this crap that's going on, and then now you know that everybody don't have common sense. I, it just astounds me on how stupid people can be. First of all, I wouldn't ever ask him for his ID, because I could tell that he's at least 21. I said, most 80-year-old guys look 80 years old. And he, trust me, he looks good for his age, but he don't look 19 anymore. He looks... 70 anyhow anyhow it just drives me nuts how dumb people can be she told him i can i'll sell them to you this time but if you come in again if you don't have a current id i will not be able to sell them to you or i will not sell them to you isn't that crazy never heard of such a thing i said i understand if a young person comes in that looks like they might not be 21 that they might be 20 and ask for their id i need to see your id before i'll show you these cigarettes or these cigars or the chewing tobacco or whatever but when an old man comes in with an old woman walking right alongside him and they're giddy up and go ain't very giddy up and going much more they walking slow i wouldn't ever ask for the id and then she has the gall to tell him I'll sell them to you this time, but unless you get a new ID, I won't be able to sell them to you because that's expired. Just because his driver's license expired don't mean he has. And it don't mean that he's under 21 just because it's not a valid driver's license anymore because it expired, that they wouldn't renew it because he couldn't see. It just kills me how dumb people are. Well, enough of this rant about retards out there and uh, common sense gone out the window. But well, I'll let you guys go. Thanks for joining me. And don't forget I love you. And don't be stupid. Bye.